Hi guys, welcome to another video. This is a continuation of last week. Last week I showed how you can apply a full barrel vinyl wrap. The problem is I never mentioned how to take the vinyl sticker off the gun. We very seldom do it. Personally, I've never done it. <laughs> I did experiment a bit with one here. And the way to do it is with a heat gun. Whether a hairdryer will work, I don't know but sufficient heat to soften the glue allows you to peel it off. Let's see how it works. I've got three guns here. One is a well-used one with the components. One is even more well-used with somebody had a go trying to peel it off and a fairly new one. Let's start on the new one. Switch it on. This is a short sticker. Obviously, if it had a full wrap, you would be heating up much more. It seems to be that when the vinyl gets a little shiny, it's at the point that it's ready to peel. This won't do any damage at all to the aluminium. Not such a good idea, I would think, on carbon. That's been about 60 seconds. Pretty shiny all the way along. Let's see how this comes off. That easy, perfectly clean underneath. Let's try an older one. This has got a lot of scuffs and scratches on it already. Someone has already had an attempt. Let me get it warmed up. If you look closely, you can see the sticker itself is starting to become shiny. As I said, this is the first time I've done this and that seems to be when uh, it gets to the right heat which allows it to peel away very easily. The fact this one is so scuffed up is probably going to mean that it will tear. That should be sufficient heat. Let's see how it comes off. Quite hot. It is tearing, there's some scuffs and scratches along there. You can see with the damage to the old sticker, it doesn't come off as easily. There you go. Not too bad at all. There's quite a bit of glue residue on that. No different to the new one. Let's clean that off with some acetone. You obviously need a good clean surface to stick a new one on. The residue is very sticky. Might even be an idea to pretty much soak it in the acetone. The acetone will loosen it up. So, it's extremely damp now with acetone. I would suggest you wear gloves when uh, handling acetone. Unlike me. Okay, guys, we've tried a variety of cleaning agents. 
We've tried acetone, thinners, paraffin, vinegar, uh, Q20, and none of it really removes it well. Uh, you'd have to put in a lot of elbow grease to get this stuff off. It's the highest grade vinyl stickers we can get, which is why the glue is very strong. And we purposely do that so that the stickers don't peel at any stage. They've got to be heated up quite a lot before they move. And these guns, this one could be 10 years old for all I know. But those are the old stickers we used to use and they still bonded well to the barrel. So personally, I don't think it's worth trying to peel off a sticker and replace it with another. If anything, a clean barrel that hasn't been, hasn't had any stickers or it's a very small sticker, no problem. Again, you need to clean that surface well before you stick it on. But yeah, we spent a good 10 minutes and I can still see a residue on the old one. So not a good idea. You're welcome to try, but it will take a lot of elbow grease. Bonus clip, we're gonna try acetone together with a scotch bright pad. This is a common kitchen abrasive pad for dishes. Wow, I'd say it does work. There's so many other dings on this old barrel that it would not be a good idea to try and stick a sticker over that. The fact that our vinyl stickers are clear, any little scuff or scratch mark will show through. As you can see, this one has been through reef at some stage, very badly scuffed and scratched. So on close up inspection in the zone where there was residue, it's pretty much all off. But in this zone here where the barrel wasn't covered, there's lots of little scuff marks, scratches. If you've stuck a sticker over that, it's not going to look good. Some of them are actually raised. This first barrel where the sticker came off in one piece, it was a fairly new barrel. I don't even think it's left the factory. They had drilled it wrong, so it was put into the scrap. Uh, that residue did loosen up quite easily with acetone being fairly fresh. I'm sure with a pad, scotch bright pad and acetone, definitely moving it. Again, don't forget to wear gloves. That's definitely coming off quite nicely. You can actually see it raised on the zone, between the zone I was working and the zone I haven't yet started. So here you can see where I haven't worked it. Lots of acetone, it's definitely coming off. So a fresh one that hasn't had years to bake, it's still soft enough to move. I won't do any more, but there you can see the glue residue coming off. So one of these scotch bright pads will do the job if it's a clean, fresh barrel. Being clean and new, obviously that will take the new vinyl sticker much better than an old barrel. I wouldn't bother with an old barrel, much easier and less hassle to just replace the whole tube with the new sticker. Hope you enjoyed that video. Stand by for the next.